are going to talk about Holocaust. So in order for you to be able to understand the whole lesson, you first should be able to understand or define what Holocaust means. Holocaust means the killing or destruction on a mass scale, especially by with the use of fire or nuclear war. So in this lesson, we are going to look at Nazi racist policy, which is anti-Semitic. What is anti-Semitic? Anti-Semitic is hatred against the Jews. For your information, anti-Semitic idea had been there in Germany even before Hitler took over Germany. However, when Hitler rose in power in 1933, as part of his plan to take over the whole world, he vowed to kill all Jews. The signboards of a Jewish restaurant smashed. A pig head marked with a Star of David dumped by a door. Swastikas and Stars of David daubed on a wall. This was the aftermath of an anti-Semitic attack in the eastern German city of Chemnitz in August 2018. It was just one of more than 1,600 anti-Semitic crimes committed in Germany last year. That's an increase of 10% on 2017. Particularly worrying, the number of violent incidents, like this one in Berlin, has increased by two-thirds. And Germany is not alone. Anti-Semitic incidents are becoming more common in other countries too. France this week reported a rise of more than 70% in 2018 compared with the previous year. So in 1933 when he rose in power, the first thing he did to make the life of the Jews hard was by banning their shops and also stop the Jewish teacher from teaching. And in 1935, he actually made the marriage between Jews and German as illegal. In 1938, 10 November, the night of the broken glass took place. Kristallnacht, or the night of broken glass, was the wave of violent anti-Jewish pogroms on November 9th and 10th of 1938. It took place throughout Germany, annexed Austria, and in areas of Czechoslovakia recently occupied by German troops. Kristallnacht owes its name to the shards of shattered glass from the windows of synagogues, homes, and Jewish-owned businesses that lined German streets in the wake of the pogrom. In 1938, more laws were introduced to make the life of the Jews hard. So before 1942, Jews were killed by guns. After 1942, they were killed by gassing, and this was done mostly in concentration camps in Poland. In 1945, when the war ended, some of the Jews were found alive in the death, uh, death camp, and some emerged from their hiding place. And some of them moved to Israel to start a new life. That's it about Holocaust. See you guys again.